How long did that take you to do, Romero? It takes about 10 seconds to make the selection. I am Chris Brown. I'm a computer programming teacher here at Central High School. This is a sensor right here. This is a, called an Mbot Ranger, and we use a block programming called Mblock that uh, really teaches the kids a lot about you know, the fundamentals of programming. You're a builder, but you're also a programmer, and you can make it do different things or sense different uh, ways to go. I really enjoyed having the robot. It was a really enjoyable experience because I actually hadn't got, I haven't gotten to work with the robot before yet. And so this was nice for a first kind of thing. I also enjoyed learning how to program it. Being a tech class, this online uh, schooling has ultimately probably made this more mobilizing for me because now instead of having to like be in class or in person and have to like wait on other people, it's just here's the link, here's this, and it's ultimately much faster, at least for me. As teachers, we are adapting to the newer technologies. With Google Classroom, uh, just like we're using during NTI, uh, we're able to share our screen with the kids so they can see it and then kind of mimic what we're doing with them. The cool thing about that is as we are going along, the kids are, you know, they're doing various things and then the way that they show us is they're, you know, pointing their camera down at their bot or holding it up and they're, we're seeing what they're seeing. What I've learned here is something that I'm going to be taking back to the STEM classroom, considering that I'm interested in working in robotics and um, fields associated with this. So this has been incredibly helpful to me. I think it paves the way for where we are headed in education and how we can actually take this environment of learning virtually and then modeling it with an example of how to do it where there are actually hands-on connections there as well. It really engages them. It's not a thing where it's a boring camp and you know we're just sitting here and it's a lull. There's a lot of exploration going on, there's a lot of tinkering, and we really give the kids a lot of freedom to just go beyond what the basics are. What I've done is using the ultrasonic sensor. I got it to detect how far away it is from different objects. We really let them kind of branch out there.